Hi everyone and welcome to Indres TV uh, and Macro Voices from Turku again with me economist Marianne Palmo. Hello, hi Isa, hello all. Uh, and today's topic, dollar is king. Uh, when facing uncertain times like we're facing now, the dollar is usually strengthening against all other currencies. Why? Yes, indeed. Uh, during uncertain times, dollar is a kind of a safe haven exchange rates. And it means that investors uh, trust in dollar when the economic outlook is worsening globally. And uh, right now the dollar is a quite strong exchange rate. And it means that, for example, euro has been depreciating over 15% against dollar, uh, like if we, if we look at the year-to-date change. And if you look at uh, other countries as well, we have the, from the G20 countries, almost everyone, every other currency is plummeting against the dollar. So it says something about the times we're living at the moment. Yes, that's right. Yeah, and isn't this also uh, a case of a different policies and different ways of acting in this type of crisis when you think about the ECB and other central banks against the Fed. Yeah, that's right. Uh, during this year, uh, the Fed has been hiking interest rates quite aggressively and much more aggressively than other central banks, for example, ECB. And uh, because of these uh, differences in the monetary policy, it has uh, been uh, one one factor uh, behind a strong dollar. And the other factor is the uh, worsening economic outlook in the Eurozone, which has been uh, a factor that has been behind the weak Euro. Yeah. And it's help, it's, you won't easily get depressed in this kind of environment, but this is not all bad news. Yeah. For instance, you could also draw some positives effect from the weakening euro against the dollar as a private investor. Yeah. If you look at the Helsinki Stock Exchange, for example. Yeah. Yes, there are uh, some some companies are really benefiting uh, from this situation. And those are companies that has revenue in dollars, but costs in euros. And that is uh, quite a positive environment uh, to those companies, if we like, think Ceteris Baribus, <laughs> Baribus uh, kind of uh, environment. And those companies that are benefiting uh, from the strong dollar, those are, for example, Revenio, Rovio, uh, QT, uh, forest giants like uh, UPM, Stura and so, Metzaboard, and also Conegrains and Mezzo Tech are benefiting from this situation. But then, for example, Finnair, which has really high dollar costs, it is uh, the company that is uh, uh, suffering, suffering mm. in this kind of environment. Yeah. So as an investor, look out for revenues in dollars and costs in euros. That's right. And thank you, Mariana Palma, for this. We'll be back from Turku. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.